Hello, Chief Architect users. I get a lot of questions um, about the, the P&E, the proficient and efficient in CAD drawings. How do I get that P&E going on? Um, anyways, it's a late night. We're going to make this video real quick. Um, I just want to show a couple tools when I'm drafting here. So one is I'm just going to start my, well, first off, I like having overlays. I've got an overlay video. You guys can go check that out. Maybe I'll try to link it in, des in the description. And the next thing I want here is I want to know that my active CAD is um, some on, on some layer that's different from my overlay. And it just so happens that I overuse pink <laughs> in everything I do. So let's change that to neon green. Uh, the next thing is if you double click your um, selection there, you get general plan default. And under general plan defaults, when I'm drawing CAD drawings, I've got these, you know, really zoomed in um, um, drawings. I'm going to decrease my snap unit or just don't use the snap units either way. So I'm going to hit L to draw this out. As I start this line, I can drag it, you know, way past where I need it to be and hit tab and get that. You know, if as long as my polar is selected under relative to start, I can do just uh, coordinates in the direction of so 6.75. So there we go. There's my line. It should be green. Let's turn on my line weight. There we go. So now I know I'm over the top of that guy. I'm just going to drag this direction. Same thing. Tab three quarters of an inch gets me exactly where I want it to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this snap corner here, drag down while maintaining. I can see that 90 degree. You can see that 90 degree carrot there that's highlighted. And drag this way, tab 9.75. And I use a lot of CAD lines for reference markers, right? So if I bring this up here and then I take a line and snap it right there, now I know that that should be pretty close to what it needs to be. So, and we can close this shape. Sometimes it makes it easier to see what you're drawing. Just use your um, close polyline. There we go. And so the next thing I want to do is um, I'm going to do something where I, uh, this, this to me, this particular arc to me looks like it's a three point arc. So I'm going to grab three points along this radius by using the break tool number three on your keyboard and then the next thing is I could just change this to a line arc right now I'm actually gonna bring this up just a little bit looks like it's right there um, but instead of that I'm gonna use the break tool and I'm going to bring this up until the tangent sections seem to line up with the arc and once I do that I know that my arc is gonna be pretty well placed so if I do it again for this section and make sure that essentially what I'm lining up here, if you couldn't tell, and let's turn off my line weights again. This, as I was bringing this point right here, I don't know if you can even see that. I was trying to line it up along this edge. So I brought it past that edge, if it makes sense. So let me select this again. Let me do it one more time to demonstrate. I'm going to bring this up until my tangent lines seem to be lined up pretty much center of that line. So once I have that, I can grab this selection handle, hold F, and fillet back to the center of the line. And it's going to put me right where I want to be in this arc, in this three portion arc. Oops, let's hold that F. There we go, right there. And there we go. That's finished shape. So just a couple of tricks. Um, I can copy this shape, take it back to my, you know, uh, control C and then we can hit control tab, tab, tab to get my, to my cross section. It will take its sweet time because we're recording in 4k. And then once we're in that elevation, you can see that I've done this a couple of times already. So, um, let me go reference my drawing. What am I even, oh, I'm doing these upper little corbels here. So that I can control V, paste in place. Let's 
change this to a piece solid. I happen to know that this piece solid is four and a half inches and done. And then I will take my time placing this. So uh, anyways, a couple tools, a couple tricks maybe, um, easy ways to, to trace these things. Use my video that uh, references creating overlays uh, with this video for a couple tricks on, you know, being a little bit more proficient and efficient in CAD.